Now we move on to the latest local headlines. One comes from within the 41 casinos on the Strip. Lately, there's been no house advantage. In fact, the gross win taken by the casinos has been dropping steadily for the past 18 months. Fiscal year ended on June 30th with a profit at $5.6 billion. That sounds like a lot. Listen to this. The statewide drop is the largest ever. And officials say that because people are gambling less, the state government will face even more economic issues. But let's count some blessings. At least you didn't suffocate in a palm tree. Death in unusual locations is just the sort of slideshow seen at the International Association of Coroners and Medical Examiners Convention. After Brian Elias gave a show and tell about the hazards of trimming palm fronds or jet setting in the wheel well of a 747, the audience questioned only one death Elias worked in LA. He was on shift the night Michael Jackson died. Elias didn't offer up any new information, but he also didn't take the $3 million offer for a picture of the body either. And on that macabre note, we turn it over to John for the Cats Report. This is the Cats Report. I am John Katzlamitis. You know, our governor, Jim Gibbons, a.k.a. Ted Baxter, has found himself in a tussle that does not involve his estranged wife, First Lady Dawn Gibbons. What's being disputed between the governor and the state legislature is the $2.2 billion in federal stimulus money coming to the state of Nevada. The democratically controlled legislature wants to coordinate the use of this $2.2 billion, and Gibbons, a Republican, wants to create a new position of stimulus czar to lord over the distribution of these funds. The governor wants the appointment to be non-classified, meaning he can choose anyone regardless of experience or qualifications for this position. This would be where we would make a joke about stimulus czar Chrissy Mazio, but we won't. The governor is not the only politician wrestling with difficult decisions here in the state of Nevada. Congressman Dean Heller won't take on Harry Reid in 2010. Heller is a member of the powerful Ways and Means Committee. And facing Reid's $25 million fundraising goal, there's no way he's going to have those means or those ways. Dean Heller is said to hold a nine-point percentage lead over Reid right now, but at this point, even the late Dean Martin would be a challenge to Reid if he ran as a Republican. Former Superman Dean Kane would give him a run. Best-selling author, author Dean Kuntz would give him a ride, and I think you get my point. Speaking of the public domain, Visa International Service Association has sued several websites for trademark infringement. These internet sites are using domain names like visacreditcard.com, visadebit.com, visarewards.com, visamobile.com, and visapay.com. Of course, my favorite is payjohncatsvisabill.com. Okay, that last one was a joke. But Visa is going to, after these cyber squatters by claiming to be the largest retail electronic payment network in the world with 1.5 billion Visa cards in use today. We understand that 1 billion of those cards are in the name of Rita Rudner alone. Visa should just change its official website address to Life Takes Visa and Visa Will Take You to Court.com. From the court to the ice, the Las Vegas Wranglers minor league hockey team has switched its affiliation from the Calgary Flames to the Phoenix Coyotes. Is it now time for the Wranglers to change their nickname? This is a natural Roadrunners Wiley Coyote relationship waiting to happen. Maybe it's time to dust off the Acme rocket sled and the Acme jet powered roller skates. And speaking of people at play, a man who illegally parked in a handicapped parking space at Paradise Park at Tropicana and McLeod Street has been arrested with a cache of illegal drugs. A Clark County Park police officer approached the car near the playground area offering a friendly warning to this guy who was found to have narcotics in his car. My question is, who gets busted by the park police anyway? We're not talking about the brightest criminal mind here. This is usually the kind of case solved by Reno 911's Officer Dangle. This is the craziest case of wrong place, wrong time since Paul Rubens decided to become an adult film critic. With the Cats Report, I'm John Katzlamitis. And you can read all these full stories and even more local news at LasVegasSun.com.